So this is my 2021 Kawasaki KLX 300R. I currently have about maybe 20 hours on it, maybe 15. Most of that is road miles, like driving down dirt roads and paved country roads. I got about maybe an hour, hour and a half of trail riding, not even that probably. I have not done anything to it besides some IMS super stock pegs significantly larger than the stock pegs that came with it I haven't actually ridden with those pegs yet I've just put them on recently uh, I did clip my leg on them walking the bike around because they protrude so much farther than the previous ones so ouch few random stickers sticker that the dealership chose to put on that I didn't have a choice about I mean I guess I could have taken it off stay zero put on a Randy that came with my quad lock which is there put a mirror on there because you know like I said I'm, I'm doing road riding good road riding so not too bad not too bad not too bad I really want to get some uh, hand guards, but Kawasaki bars have little, little uh, welded, little welded bar weights at the end, so I got to replace my whole bar, and I'm just not ready to do that yet. And uh, so yeah, I was going to do a little, little chain slack adjustment, if you will, a little chain slack adjustment, because she's a bit. She's a bit wonky, she is. Not too bad. Well, like I say, between 15 and 20 hours, I'll measure, but that is almost definitely, shouldn't have more than about an inch of play. Yeah, I maintenance her regularly. Uh, walk you through it. So yeah, I wash the bike pretty frequently and I just use Dawn dish soap and water and a washcloth. Not like a washcloth in the bath, like a automobile washcloth you know glove type of how you doing hand mitt typically spray the chain with WD-40 before I wash it uh, I could do it again after but that'd be silly because I use chain cleaner uh, after that basically after the bikes completely dry I use some iPhone chain cleaner which I'll drop a link below the only place you can get it in America you can't get it in America the only place that I've found that can will deliver it to America is a place called GP Bikes out of Canada. Uh, ordered at a place in Germany, but for some reason it got shipped back from German Customs before it. I don't know. They never responded, so they just fed them the money. Then I, uh, I lubed the chain with some Kawasaki synthetic chain lube. And then uh, I've used this once, this off-road everything's in French right so there's like literally all oh, this is chain off-road and sand and mud use protection film you've got to read like application process or directions or best times to apply I don't know it's all in French so you tell me but I mean it's definitely got some tack of fire so it kind of seems like maybe a surface level of stuff sticks to it and then nothing beyond that um, I don't know I'm gonna experiment with it got some PJ1 filter cleaner and uh, and treatment which I'm gonna do today as well because I haven't done that yet and uh, I use modal 5100 4T 10W40 that's what my bike calls for I mean the 10W40 part and the 4T obviously because it's four stroke I'm gonna use a little K&N filter how you doing and uh, got some PJ1 cable lube but I'll be gut darned if I can figure out how to lube a cable I know there's a special a special tool but I mean I don't even know how to even if I had the little tool, I'm not even sure how to how you doing, so yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. I mean, if the cable starts sticking, I'll address it at that point. At that point in time. But uh yeah, she's been a good bike, I'm really happy with her. Need bar risers. Um, it's another reason. Because right, I need to get bar risers, new bar, and hand guards. So I'm just gonna do that when I do that all at once. I still want to get a power commander five from Dynajet. Uh, they have a tune for stock, so I'll probably just go ahead and get that first. And then they also have a tune for uh, the FMF 
slip-on. So eventually I'll probably just get the FMF slip-on for that and uh, we'll start getting to work. Oh, I was going to say that stuff does that synthetic glue. It says it's tacky. It's, it's like a foam application. I mean, it's see, um, and it just kind of dissipates in the grease. So it does sticky, and it is, but it still does fling off. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to order a little thing now, because I'm not going to... I'm going through physical therapy for my back and my shoulder right now. And the last thing I want to do is jack it up. I'm trying to lift this beast up. Plus, there's literally, like, not even a mechanism in which to do so. You know, the CRF has a little grab handle. I don't particularly actually use a little grab handle. But, uh, you know, it's got actual grab handles. But... The back fender is so hard that you can just grab right up close to the back seat part of the fender and lift it with a lot of leverage right there, which is what I typically do. This has got fake slots that are in no way, shape, or form grab handles. You go, Hank. You go. I mean, there's no. That's just. That's just fairing. There's no. There's no. There's no substantial thick plastic underneath. In which to form, in which to form, in which to form a, a grasping surface. So yeah, that's kind of a poor design on Kawasaki's part, in my opinion, because this 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 tail, this tail piece piece is way too flimsy. For uh, I mean, technically there is hard plastic under here. There, maybe that's where they want you to grab it, just right here. And now. Give it a try. See what happens. Yeah, that is so much higher. There is no way, dude. Yeah, there's not a chance in fuck I can lift it like it. I can barely get it off the ground when she's laid down. The way they designed, instead of having an extra 10 cents attached to their filter price, even though you can't even, I can't even find filters from Kawasaki, they're never in stock, so bought the K&Ns, which are cheaper, and in my, in my, uh, I always buy K&N, right? Like K&N's my go-to, has been for 25 years. But yeah, there's a spring behind the oil filter to keep the spring or to keep the filter where it needs to be with the proper amount of resistance to keep the oil flowing through the little oil reservoir there and the filler cap reservoir and uh, or uh, oil filter reservoir and uh, it's son of a bitch to put in the book says oh you just get yourself some tacky grease there you get yourself some grease and you do a little dollop will do you on the end well I got myself some red and tacky grease I do and uh, she's tackier and she's tackier and squizzles but it's still like you feel like you got to put on way too much grease and it's like is Kawasaki just trying to get me to buy a new bike by like having me like circulate grease into my engine I mean I guess if you change the oil on the regular maybe it's not a big deal I don't know I've read a couple of uh, differing opinions but yeah at this point I'm definitely gonna go order a jack because I'm not gonna I can't without a friend and either way I'd probably break the freaking plastics because uh they're definitely not designed to withstand the weight of the bike. And I don't know any other way to, to adjust the chain by getting the then other than getting the back wheel off the ground. So uh, man, those are some those are some freaking dimes they are. Oh my goodness, where'd they go? There they are. Those are some dimes. Noise. That's probably all machine, right? Probably all roboto robotics. Robotracios. I love my mirror. You can hush your mouth. Alright, I can work on the foam filter though. I hate the seat. It's so freaking... It's just hard as a rock and there are no alternatives. I wish seat concepts would just hurry the F up. I literally offered them to send my seat for a, for a, uh, for a template. And they're like, 
you wouldn't get your seat back for three or four months. And I'm like, yeah, and? Like, I'll take one of those bikes to the shop. That, the red one just needs a clutch table and a tune-up. Clutch cable, valve adjustment. Should be good to clean up. Wash it wash, wash dry, should be good to go. Uh, maybe a carb clean. Uh, the TTR needs a lot more. TTR needs going to need a lot of love. Or maybe just a a sell to a, a sell to somebody who wants to who wants to do that. I only paid nine hundred dollars for her and I definitely got nine hundred dollars worth of fun out of her. Or at least seven fifty. But uh yeah I can do that I can do the air filter. I can, so we'll do that. <music> Clean an air filter. Y'all ever done that before? Me neither. Nice ride, dude. Ride right Thanks, brother.
I had more confidence, I'd ride down that embankment. Try to back out on them rocks and get a good, cool photo, but uh, it's probably private property. There's a sign right there that says no trespassing. But uh, I'd still do it if I was confident I could, but I'm not sure I could get down it, much less get back up it. I think we get the cane. I think we get the cane. Okay, so this PJ1 film filter oil is actually pretty cool. It's got a red tint. So you can see that you got everything. You kind of need it a little bit as you're applying it. You kind of gently knead the filter. You know, K like bread, like dough. That spelling of need. K N E E D E A D. Not sure. It's a little bit tacky and sticky, I mean, as you would expect. So you can trap the dirt particles. I'm definitely probably going to want to wear gloves. There's just three little notches, and there's a slot in the green fairing for that one. So you got to kind of put them all up at the same time and then slide them forward. In case you didn't know, I mean, it's fairly self explanatory, but I am sometimes an idiot when it comes to things like that. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for coming along for the adventure. If you liked what you saw and you'd like to continue to follow me, go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, then hopefully you'll get some notifications for when I drop a new video. I'm going to try to keep them semi-regular. Like, uh, if you like what you see and you'd like to come along, along for the ride on my KLX and see all the things I do to it, then uh, you know where to find me. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. to have run into an issue. Come on now, cow.